Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here from Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me back on. Always a pleasure. Very excited to hear from you today. And I know we have some big news that we want to talk about. So let's get right into it. So big day for you guys, as you have announced that Vox has realized record preliminary quarterly revenue of Canadian one million eight hundred and sixty two thousand six hundred us one million four hundred and seventy one thousand for the three month period ended march 31st 2022 can you tell us what the revenues were mostly driven by and what it means for the shareholders absolutely and first i'll put that number in perspective because i think it's important so last year about this time our initial guidance was for the entire year was basically this number Wow. And so the significance of what this number means to our business and, and the outlook for our shareholders going forward is really, really significant. So it's an exciting number for us. It's the continuance of what we set out to do, which was have this growing organic revenue base by buying really good royalties at really good valuations and letting those royalties crystallize and grow in value within the portfolio. So this result is, uh, you know, a point on, let's call it the, um, uh, the path to what we believe is going to be a very, very productive next few quarters and next few years for Vox. And this number, you know, is really driven by a couple of, uh, you know, key fundamental growth aspects for Vox. One is the number of producing assets. So we went from one producing asset when we went public to now five production stage assets. We expect that to be eight as we exit this year, but ultimately your revenue is generated by producing asset count. And so that has grown. What else has grown, grown alongside of that is the production of our producing assets. So production has increased significantly. One of the biggest drivers of this quarter's revenue growth was it was an entire quarter of royalty revenue from Segalola Gold Mine. That was a royalty that we bought a few years ago prior to it being in production. And when we bought it, we said, look, we believe this royalty is going to come into production. It's going to be a very valuable and productive asset for Vox. And, you know, the market has a funny way of not pricing in um, good things until you actually deliver them. And so we have delivered it. And that's, that was a big part of this number. The other big element of, of this growing revenue has been increased production from our cooling knobbing iron ore asset and sustained very high iron ore prices. So the diversification of our business, yes, we're focused on precious, but our ability to find really good royalties at really great value, even if they're not necessarily precious, is fantastic because we're picking great assets and great royalties at great valuations. And so it is you know, not just one particular data point that's driving this revenue growth, but a host of, of really powerful data points that are, that are growing in our favor that's delivering this growth. Congratulations on record revenue. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, you know, it is tremendous that what we've been able to deliver again, this was our guidance, our initial guidance for all of last year. We've now realized that in just one quarter. So we believe that our revenue is going to continue on a very positive trajectory. We have transactions that we're always working on um, that we hope will add to that as well. So you know, it continues to be a very productive time for Vox and our shareholders. And that leads me to my next question, which shows how busy you really are. Vox also announced it will be attending seven different upcoming conferences to engage with investors. Can you tell which conferences, can you tell us which conferences you'll be attending and how you believe these events will impact the company? Yeah, well, it's a focus point for us, Rich, because you know, we absolutely believe in being as engaged as we possibly can with both our current investor base and potential new investors to really raise the awareness of Vox Royalty Corp and what we believe is a very unique business model um, that advantages our shareholders in this inflationary environment where we leverage what's happening with inflation to our benefit and we're able to, to really, in many ways, um, cut a lot of the risk exposure that happens during inflationary regimes. And so we think we've done that really well as a business with our execution. And so you know, we'll be at PDAC 
We'll be at VRIC in Vancouver. Um, we have a few road shows happening around, happening, happening around the U.S. And, and then another conference in the U.S. that's more generalist focused. So we're going to be working hard to raise the awareness of Vox. We think we have the fundamentals and the growth that warrants more attention than what we're currently generating. And I think the investors that are finding out about our story, like they have um, on your program early, are going to be very well rewarded. Kyle, that leads me to my next question. With a lot of companies struggling in these market conditions, many people calling this bear market, some people calling for a recession, and we're definitely having a very volatile market. I think that's very clear to everyone. How has Vox Royalty Corp kept itself so strong and resilient to this bear market when so many other companies have really struggled? Well, let's kind of look at the risk. Inflation. What does inflation typically mean? Rising commodity prices. And that's absolutely what's happened. Commodity prices really across the board are you know, one, of the, one of the most buoyant states that they've been in. And so we're recognizing the benefit of that. That is proven out in our Q1 revenues. And then also you talked about volatility. Well, we win in, vol in volatile times when commodity prices are high because we're not exposed to a lot of the downside risks. Um, you know, we don't have a tremendous amount of variable and operating costs that mining companies bear. We're not exposed to the inflationary input costs that mining companies are as well. And then we've really done a, what I would say is a, is a good job for our shareholders in diversifying business, our business. We have five production stage assets. We expect that to go to eight by the end of this year. That provides a lot of risk abatement, yet we're still a small cap company. And that's certainly not cutting off any of our upside. In fact, I think our upside is as strong as it's ever been as a company, but we've been able to do that with a, with a business model that's very unique in the royalty sector, which is buying third-party royalties around the globe at very good valuations and continuing to execute with our technical team, picking great assets. And so you're seeing what is the culmination, and I won't even call it culmination, it's really the continuance of just a tremendous amount of hard work and discipline around our model with our competitive advantages continuing to bear fruit. And so when you look at the risk that the market's experiencing, Vox for a very long time has been disciplined. We didn't get sucked into the trap of gold being at $10,000 an ounce or copper going to $20 a pound. We've always consistently looked at metal prices as, as being in probably backwardation, which they haven't been, they've actually been increasing. And so that's allowed us to build a very strong business with a tremendous amount of upside in the business. Now, Kyle, just to recap everyone watching today, you've touched on it a little bit. How many companies are currently in your portfolio and how many different jurisdictions do you guys cover right now? So we have about 55 royalties and streams. We, I believe, are in seven plus jurisdictions, might be nine, um, but we have most of our exposure in tier one mining jurisdictions being Canada, Australia, and the U.S., with about 70% of our net asset value being in Australia and most of that being in Western Australia, which I should note was just ranked the best mining jurisdiction by the Fraser Institute for 2021. And that again speaks to kind of the forward looking discipline nature of our business. We focused on what we believed was the best mining jurisdiction, continues to be the best mining jurisdiction, which is Western Australia and continuing to build our exposure there. And that continues to pay dividends for our business and for our shareholders. Kyle, is there anything else you want investors to know about Vox Royalty Corp before we say goodbye today? Look, Chris, I think we covered a lot of ground. Really exciting Q1 preliminary revs. Very pleased with that number. Frankly, exceeded our, our expectations. But the business and the market, as much as it's volatile, as much as it's risky, as much as it's creating challenges for investors right now, a lot of those risks and a lot of those challenges, we've really leveraged for the benefit of our shareholders. We've created a, a tremendously unique business model that is, I think, being able to kind of turn the tables on some of the risks and use that to our advantage. And we're seeing that play out. And this quarter is just the continuance of that execution strategy that's driving results for our shareholders. And we expect to continue. So for the investors that are out there that are saying, hey, this is a challenging investment climate, and it is, there's a unique business, which is Vox Royalty Corp, that I believe is positioning our investors to do very well, despite the difficult circumstances that are happening at a more macro level. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I must remind everybody that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education, and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research, 
before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, Vox Royalty Corp has been a winner in a very tough market environment. Congratulations to Kyle Floyd and all the shareholders for um, having success with Vox Royalty Corp. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Thank you for joining us today, Kyle, and we'd love to invite you back in the future. Terrific. I look forward to it, Rich. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners like Vox Royalty Corp, and we bring them to you first. Put your attention on Vox in Canada, V-O-X, in America, V-O-X-C-F. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Vox Royalty Corp with realized record preliminary quarterly revenue of 1,862,600 and US 1,471,000 for the three month period ended March 31st, 2022. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, Kyle. And thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, everybody. And we'll see you guys soon.